A lot of people feel like they're stuck in a hamster wheel of life. I know how that feels. I was working up north in the deserts of Western Australia, catching snakes and lizards and kangaroos. And it sounds so crazy just even talking about it right now. Yeah. But I did that because I was all about the money. And I was like, oh, if I get the money, then I can pay for events. I can pay for my flights. I can put money back into my business. I looked at it as an investment. Mm. I didn't look at it as a prison. I looked at it as an opportunity for me to step even more in my purpose, to be able to fuel my dreams. And you know, it's having a, of, a different perspective, right, on life. Like some people yeah. are stuck in a job, oh, I hate it, I don't like it, and like yep. continue doing this for years while like you had a mindset of like, I'm doing this as an investment for something greater and Absolutely. you're getting so much more positivity in your life and ch chances and yeah, so I, I mean, amazing. look, life's a game and there's cheat codes mm. to the game and the <laughs> cheat code is get to work. You know, there's, yeah. there's visions you can map, there's values you can, you can get aligned with, there's people you can connect with. Mm. Uh, there's you know reprogramming and visualization programs you can be a part of there's so many different things that you could be doing for your mindset your heart set your soul set there's just so much that you could do there and I I hear a lot of people and I hear their excuses and a lot of its justifications because they don't want to put themselves out there they're scared you know and I get that I was totally there myself and and they live in this fear. It's fear of being judged. You don't want to put yourself out on social media. What would everybody think? And then at the bottom line of it all, it's like if I put myself out and then somebody just like, even if a hundred people say it's amazing, but one person says like, oh, what do you think you're doing? Or who do you think you are? It's like you let that affect you. Yeah. And you think that that's the whole picture. And it's just so not true. People are always projecting their visions. And I, I said to my mom, because my mom came to the event, the yeah. elevator event that we're at. And, and she was super jazzed up to, to write her vision after that. And she said to me like, oh, you know, I think it's really important now for me to have a vision, which is great. You know, someone that's like, you know, late fifties going into sixties, like mm. to say like, I'm ready to place bets on myself. It's the that's amazing. perfect time to do it. Yeah. And I said to her, I said, mom, the thing is that if you don't have a vision that you're excited about, then you're going to live in the projection of other small minded visions. Mm. Cause people are going to keep telling you what to do. People yeah. are going to keep saying, well, this is going to be best for you. Or they're going to go, well, why do you want to do that? And if your vision is not strong enough, you'll buy into their bullshit vision. Yeah, true. Uh, but back home, like a lot of people are living under society rules, yep. like trying to like keep them small and not like yep. go out there and do their potential. And also when I started traveling and stuff and quit my job, it's like, oh, what are you going to do? Why are you going to do that? And like always like, because they see a different perspective as yep. in society perspective a lot. And um, yeah, what I really want to get out there as well is that you can live your dream and you're, if you just get yourself out of that society thinking yeah, and get yeah, into yeah. like, like a living of like consciousness being with like, what do I want and what do I like in life and like yeah. putting it that into action. Yeah. I, well, the thing is that our environment has a 40% effect on our mental state. Yeah. Right. So, and I used to think, no, 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 mind over matter and mm. mental strength is everything. And it's, you know, it has a lot of power and pull in it if you can really move yourself to that space. But for the most part, most people are heavily affected by their environment. So your first step needs to be, okay, I need to obviously meet my needs. I need to be able to pay for my bills. I've got to make sure that I'm, my foundations are right. Mm. And then the next step is, well, how do I shift my environment? Because we're living, you know, out here in beautiful Bali right now. Yeah. It's amazing. And you know, you go and live in the middle of Manhattan, New York City, you're paying maybe six grand a month to live in like a tiny little box and you're stuck in traffic and you're in the concrete jungle. You know, mm. some people like that. Uh, but then if you look at the, the quality of living in somewhere like Bali, oh my gosh, you could live like a king or a queen here yeah. for that much. You could You could literally, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> Instead could, of one month in New York. A whole <laughs> year or like every month for, you know, quite a few yeah. months, six months, you could have a freaking mansion out here. Uh, so yeah, it really is location, location. Where do you yeah. want to live? That's why the physical environment uh, area is within the 10-year vision.